we are going to determine the magnetic field produced by two current carrying wires. So as you can see, we have two wires. They're parallel to each other in one area. The current of both is directed upward. Current uh, one is 35 amps, current two is 24 amps. So we want to figure out the magnetic field right in the middle between those two wires. So what is the magnetic field right through here? In order to determine that, we need to know uh, the distance that that point is from each of the wires. There's an equation that we use to determine the magnetic field produced by a current carrying wire. Here's the equation. So to find the magnetic field produced by wire number one, we put in the values called for. Mu naught is called the permeability of free space. That's a constant. Here's its value right here. Put that in the equation. Current one is 35 amps. 2 pi times the distance that we're measuring the magnetic field from the wire. That's 0.2 meters. These are all metric units. We'll end up getting a value for the magnetic field in metric units. When we do the math, we'll end up with a value of 3.5 times 10 to the minus fifth Tesla. Now, we need to determine the direction that this magnetic field is around this wire. To do that, we'll use right hand rule number two. We put our thumb in the direction of the current and curl our fingers. That indicates the direction of the magnetic field around that wire. So here we go. The magnetic field comes out of the board on the left side and goes into the board on the right side. So it's like this. Here's the magnetic field coming out, and here it's going in at the point we're considering. For wire number two, we use the same equation, put in the appropriate values. This time I'll leave off the units. We'll just use the numbers and come up with the magnetic field in Tesla. That'll cancel the uh, value for the magnetic field created by wire 2 at this distance of 0.2 meters from it is going to be equal to 2.4 times 10 to the minus fifth Tesla. Now, the direction of the magnetic field around this wire looks like this. Right hand rule number 2, thumb goes in the direction of the charges, their movement or the current. The um, magnetic field comes out of the board here on this side of the wire and goes into the board over here. So you'd actually have a magnetic field set up like this for the blue wire. It would come out over here. We're not concerned about that part of it though, just along this line dividing the two wires. So we've got one going in, one coming out. To find the net force or the net magnetic uh, field, We have to add them together. So B net equals this magnetic field into the board and this one out of the board. If we want to, we could say that into the board is negative, out is positive. So you've got a negative value for the first one. And because this one is going into the board, I'm sorry, coming out of the board, it's going to be a positive value. The net result is negative. 1.1 1 
times 10 to the minus fifth Tesla, because it's negative, it's into the board. All right, so what we could do, uh, we could just show it that way if we want. Um, so here's your net result. With a value of 1.1 times 10 to the minus fifth Tesla. Now, if you went through the math again for a case where the currents are identical in value, what you'd end up getting is identical magnetic field values set up at that point, and they actually cancel each other out, and you'd have zero magnetic field right between the two wires. That's how you calculate the, uh, the summative magnetic field based on two or more wires.